Hi, this is the start of a series of videos detailing the process of assembling a Porsche 944 engine. The cylinders had some scratches that caught on my fingernail. I decided to remove the pistons and send the block to a machine shop to be honed. In this video, I will be measuring the piston to cylinder wall clearance as well as the main and rod bearing clearances. Welcome to 944 Restore. To measure the piston diameter, the Porsche manual recommends 61 millimeters from the crown and 90 degrees from the pin. The pistons are just shy of four inches in diameter. So I used a three to four inch micrometer and took measurements about an inch from the bottom of the piston. To read this, we start with the three inches and then add 0.9. Each tick after the nine is 0 0.025, so we're at 3.925. Then add 0 0.011 as the line hits between the 11 and the 12. There's a vernier scale along the top, which is not shown here, but the line is halfway to the 12, so the final reading is 3.9365 inches or 99.9871 millimeters. These pistons are all part of tolerance group one, so that number is within spec. Now I am setting up the dial board gauge to measure the inside of the cylinders. I am using a 3.8 inch rod and a 0.12 inch extension to get close to the diameter of the piston. I'll use the micrometer to zero out the bore gauge. Each tick away from the zero is five thousandths of an inch, so reading about 2.5 ticks gives us 0 0.00125 inches or 0 0.03 millimeters, which is just barely within spec. Not too surprising, since I had the cylinders honed. Here is the final spreadsheet of the piston diameters and the cylinder clearances. I am replacing the main bearings, so I want to verify the main journal clearances. The process is very similar to the pistons. Measure the diameter of the journals, and then use the dial bore gauge to measure the clearances. The final measurement here is 2.755 inches. And then using the vernier scale, you can see it lines up most closely with the nine. So the final reading is actually 2.7549 inches. I am now installing the bearing shells in the girdle. Only half of the bearings have oil holes. Make sure those go on the block side. Now to install the bearings on the block side. You can see the oiling holes here. With the bearings installed on both sides, I am going to put the girdle back on and torque it to spec. I zeroed out the bore gauge once again, and now I'm going to measure the clearance for the bearings. Here are the clearances for the main journals and bearings. Journal measurement here is 2.046 inches.
it was a challenge to remove the connecting rod brackets. I had to lightly tap on the bolt while applying upwards pressure. This is a reminder to line up the numbers for the connecting rod and the bracket. Due to the small diameter of the bearings, I made a small modification to the dial board gauge and removed the stabilizing wheels. Here are the clearances for the rod journals and bearings. That concludes the engine block measurements. Next time, we will be assembling the girdle and crankshaft. Thanks for watching.